What's up everybody, it's the Inhuman one here and today I'm going to show you how to become the ultimate wildcard. In this video, I will show you the cosmetics to equip, the ideal weapon loadouts, the perfect landing zones, favorite game modes, and lore behind the most dapper and sophisticated thief on the Battle Royale Island. That's right, today you will become the ultimate wildcard. So without further ado, let's get started. For cosmetics, the wildcard only wears high-end suits and the gear needed for the job. As a result, you'll want to equip the cuff case back bling, the crowbar pickaxe, the safe cracker glider, and the cash flow contrail. For emotes, be sure to equip the calculated emote, the finger wag, and of course the gentleman's dab. Remember, the wildcard is a high class criminal, as such, he keeps his taunting to a minimum. When it comes to the weapons and items loadout, wildcard is an absolute jack of all trades. Depending on the mask he's wearing, he may favor one type of weapon over the other. Hearts likes to conduct his business at arm's length, so expect long range weapons. Clubs is the explosives expert. Diamonds loves to tinker with new tech, and Spades is the cleanup guy. He will use whatever is necessary to make sure no trail is left behind. Wildcard's absolute favorite weapon to wield is the double barrel shotgun and grappling hook combo. For heals, the wildcard typically has a few minis just in case. He doesn't like to get his suit dirty, so he never plans on taking a hit. Wildcard always lands where you would least expect it. He isn't some rookie that lands right on the safes, like Rapscallion or Scoundrel. He makes it a point to land in the general vicinity, loot all nearby chests, clean up the area, and execute his perfectly prepared plan to the T. The wildcard favors the getaway limited time mode and also likes to run squads or duos. There have been rumors of wildcard teaming up with a frenemy from the past, one by the name of Ace. But now, that's his arch enemy. The wildcard's ultimate mission is to locate and retrieve the legendary jewel llama relic. He believes this unique llama has the secrets to cure his condition. What condition, you may ask? Well, Wildcard used to be a two-man or two-person team, should I say. After Ace betrayed him, he went solo. But once the Visitor created a rift in time-space, Wildcard's body and mind were changed forever. Instead of being a sole criminal mastermind, his skills, abilities, and persona were split into four different personalities. Who better to trust than yourself, right? Each personality took form in the variations of a playing card, since he always loved a good card trick. Wildcard is a cunning strategist and master of improv. He always does his research before any job and always has a plan B and even C. He stays cool, calm, and collected, and most importantly, classy. Wildcard is aware of all chest locations and secret spawn areas hidden across the map. He uses these to great effect to properly equip himself to ensure the job gets done flawlessly. Wildcard is truly one of a kind. Or should I say, four. And that is going to bring this video to a close. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. It helps the channel grow immensely. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.